Morning, it's Kenny Bernanis, April 21st, 2020. Many of you may know I've been writing a weekly market update when the state market report comes out from USDA on Friday afternoons. A friend and colleague of mine recommended that I try a short video. I thought it was a good idea, so I'm going to try something different this week and just kind of summarize what prices did last week. A lot of it was written in that report. Start with Fed cattle prices. Um, two weeks ago, they traded across the board at 105. Last week, they pulled back to about 102. Everybody's also been watching that April live cattle futures contract. It was in the mid 90s last week. It's pulled back to about one. It's, it's pulled back to about 91 or 92 for this week. There's still some room there, certainly to be closed. In terms of Kentucky prices, in terms of feeder cattle, uh, blue line there is 850 pound steer, so kind of representative of those heavy feeder cattle prices. He was off by about a dollar a hundred weight last week from week before. We'll call that steady in this market. In fact, I think I would call the past week about the steadiest market we've had since the first week of March here in the state. Calf prices there in black, they gained about three dollars a hundred weight, so they're getting a little bit stronger. Definitely getting some play as grass comes on. Those heavy feeder cattle, those eight weight steers on a state average basis, groups that ran through, you know, groups and, and higher quality cattle, I would have put them somewhere probably in the 112 to 118 range, depending on weight and quality. On a state average basis, those five weight steer calves I'm showing you there averaged 144, 145 across the state. But you know, as always, groups and higher quality cattle were, were up into the 150s, which is typical. Last thing I'll talk about briefly, the cull cow market. Um, you know, the cull cow market and, and slaughter bulls for that matter started out really strong through this. They, they reached a, a heck of a peak there at the end of March. Pulled back quite a bit the week after that for first week of April, but they actually rallied about six bucks a hundred weight last week. So definitely good news on that front. The other thing I'll say is I'm, I'm recording this on Tuesday, April 21st, but yesterday's Monday sales definitely indicated that cold cow market was still pretty strong. So that's encouraging to think about what we're going to see this week. And here with my contact info, reach out anytime, either by phone or email. Hit me up on Twitter at KYCatalicon. We'll definitely, definitely be interested in hearing from you. Wish you the very best.